Before you can begin grading assignments in D2L, you have to first set up your gradebook in the grades area. When you click on the grades area, it is going to link you up with the setup wizard. And you are going to go through this setup wizard the first time that you set up your grades. So you are going to click the blue start button. And the first step that you need to complete is to choose what type of grading system you're going to use. So the two main options are really weighted and points. The main difference between these two options is that weighted grade systems use categories. So if you set up a bunch of categories, all of the assignments are going to sum up the percentage that the category is worth. So if you say quizzes are going to be worth 20% and then you give five quizzes, all of those quizzes are going to sum up to be worth 20%. However, if you choose the points system, what's different about that is that it doesn't include any category weights. So everything, all of the points get added together and then that totals to be your final grade. So for example, you will say, okay, I'm going to have 10 points for this quiz, 20 points for this quiz. They don't get summed up into a percentage of a category. They just all get added together along with your midterm assignments and your final assignments and your discussion sections and all of that kind of thing to create your final grade. Depending on the way that you've set up your course, you're going to want to choose one of these two options. So. I'm going to show you how to go through the weighted grading system option where all of your categories are worth a specific point of your final grade. So I'm going to click on the weighted section and then I'm going to go down and click on the blue continue button. So now it asks us if we, how we want to release our final grade. So if we want to release our final grade without looking at the student's grade books, it, we're saying, okay, it's final based on everything that I've put forward. You're going to select the calculated final grade section. If you want to modify your student's grades before you release them, then you're going to click the adjusted final grade option. Um, this does give you a little bit more control. So I'm going to go ahead and select the adjusted final grade section and then click continue. So now you have a couple options. If you have um, ungraded items, you can choose to either drop them or treat them as a zero. Um, this is really up to you. I'm going to say I want to drop the ungraded items. Um, and I want to automatically keep the final grade updated. So this will help my students understand where we're going um, and how they are in this course. So now I am going to select the blue continue button. And now I have to decide, okay, do I want my students to see a percentage or do I want them to just see a letter grade? Do I want them to see A, B, C, D, or do I want them to see 94, 87, et cetera, et cetera? In this case, I'm going to select the percentage and I'm going to click continue. And because of this, I want to see, okay, how many decimal places do I want to display? Um, I would say two is probably the standard answer unless you want to display none or one. All right, next continue. And now we're in the student view option. This is what students will see on their end of the gradebook. We generally just suggest that you select the default options, but there are a couple different things in here that you can play around with. For right now, I'm just going to select that students will be able to see the points grade as well as the weighted grade. And I also want my students to be able to see their final grade calculation throughout the course. So I'm going to now select the blue continue button. And then now I just have my summary of all of the different options that I've selected and I click the blue finish button. 
And now I need to select grade items to go into categories. If you already have some ideas for what those items are going to be, you can create them now.